I'm Steve Brown. I'm a partner with the architectural firm Brown & Bills Architects here in Dayton, Ohio. And I've been involved in the uh, Wright Monument, now known as the Triumph of Flights, just about since its inception. And at the beginning, the, uh, the monument was envisioned to be a full-size replica of the 1905 Wright Flyer at the interchange of Interstate 70 and 75 north of Dayton uh, to represent our area's birth of the aviation industry. Well, as the project moved along, we quickly began to realize that a full-size flyer monument simply wasn't going to be what we had hoped as an icon to represent our region. And so after a little bit of study, we came to the resolution that, that we needed to get the monument much higher into the air. And so we proposed a monument that was 200 feet to the bottom of the, of the lower wing and 120 foot wingspan. Well, in the years that, that followed that, we have gradually evolved into the, the final presentation now, which is a monument that's 270 feet to the top of the upper wing and 144 foot wingspan and will make a dramatic image at the interchange of Interstate 70 and 75 north of Dayton. We're here at the busy intersection of 70 and 75, and the Wright Image Group is planning on making this site one of America's most beautiful and inspirational tourist attractions. Hi, I'm Dan Edwards, and as a former radio and TV journalist, I've been following the progress of this exciting project for quite a while. First, I want to introduce you to a man who's played a vital role in the development of this project. He's Dan Patterson. Dan's a design consultant, a, a, an aviation author, photographer. You do it all. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> and he even came up with a name for this monument. Too. I did. The project had kind of been bumping along, and it needed um, an identity. And I talked to the members of the board that St. Louis has the arch. The Statue of Liberty is the Statue of Liberty. This project needed to be known as something, and the triumph of flight made sense. It's all about what the Wright brothers did. They conquered the air, they solved the age-old problem, and triumph is a great word, often underused. Why is this important for this monument to be erected for the state of Ohio, and the nation for that matter? The state of Ohio has a huge, long, colorful history in aviation. It began with the Wright brothers, it went through flight testing, at Wright Field, not far from here, in World War II, that was the center of the earth for allied aviation. Spacecraft, space travel, was a lot of it was developed at Wright Field, and it's a, a very important part of Ohio's 21st century industry. So why do you think the nation should latch on to this, for the aeronautical part of it, you think? Not only the aeronautical part of it, the fact that the airplane was invented in the United States of America. This project is important because of the significance to the region and the state of Ohio. The reason that it's here, right by this intersection, there's 50 million cars a year that drive by here. A 270 foot monument is gonna get some attention. And that's why it's important to have the name. So people know, oh, that's the Triumph of Flight. That there's signs 20 miles away. You're gonna see the Triumph of Flight. And it's right here where you can, it's, it's in the center of our region which is so rich with aviation history. All right, as the design consultant, let's talk more about your vision. What are folks gonna see when they come out to this monument? They're gonna have an aviation history experience here. There's going to be a plaza surrounding the monument with walls that are etched in photographs and the absolutely fascinating parts of aviation history that would not have happened if it hadn't started here. And then we also talk a little about Greek mythology to kind of start that. Well, we process, do. We're, right? the, the entrance, which is about where we're standing, mm -hmm. will have a couple of curved walls. And on one wall will be the, the mythological aviator, Icarus. And on the other wall will be a bronze statue of Neil Armstrong stepping onto the moon. And right about here, sitting on the steps, will be life-size bronze sculptures of Orville and Wilbur Wright. And People will be able to sit on Orville's lap and get their picture taken. So it will be a friendly, welcoming environment, but it will introduce them that this is something special about aviation, greeting the visitors as they come from the parking lot. There will be a grand entrance. The public art space, talk about that. I'm, I'm a firm believer in public art. Art is something that should be experienced without necessarily going to an art museum or going to a gallery. So this will be a sculptural space, the architectural, fact features of the walls that will surround this reflecting pond 
will be covered with the history of aviation, not only of Ohio, but internationally. Well, we're here at historic Deeds Point in beautiful downtown Dayton amongst these beautiful statues of Orville and Wilbur Wright to talk with another distinguished personality who has been closely associated with this Triumph of Flight project, the great grandniece of Orville and Wilbur themselves, Amanda Wright Lane. Now, Amanda is not only a distinguished member of the Wright Image Group, but also she's well known and respected in the aerospace community, an aviation spokesperson, as well as an advocate for the state of Ohio. And Amanda, first, what does it mean to you to see such a wonderful monument being constructed to the Wright brothers and, and the name, the Triumph of Flight? Well, I love the word triumph because it's such an uplifting, joyous um, word. Mm -hmm. And when I think about the Wright brothers' invention of the airplane, I think about um, major milestones in history for mankind, and it makes me think of fire, and then I think about the wheel, and then I think about wings, and two Dayton boys gave the world wings. Why should we build another statue, another monument here in the Dayton region? Well, I think the triumph of flight will mark not only the invention of the airplane, but it marks the birth of an industry in aviation and aerospace. And um, there are other monuments to that, but this is the site where it all began. And frankly, it was world changing. Today, Ohio is still changing the world. Um, we are leaders in the aerospace industry and in business, um, in research and development, and also our universities in the state of Ohio also have magnificent programs for engineering, aerospace, and aviation. What do you think this statue would do for, for our reputation and for our image in this region as an aerospace leader? Well, um, tourism aside, it will brand us as the spot and the place where the history began and where the future is still happening today in terms of aerospace. It has to be a draw for visitors, don't you think? Yes. Well, fortunately, I think when um, visitors arrive at the base of the monument, they will discover that they are within miles of other aviation heritage assets like the Armstrong Air and Space Museum, the National Museum of the United States Air Force, um, historic Waco Field, historic Grimes Field, our Dayton Aviation Heritage National Historic Park. So many things to see and do in our region and, and this place will be the beacon for all of it, this monument. What do you hope visitors, tourists will take away from this monument once it's constructed? Well, I hope they um, come away from it with a sense of reverence for um, how flight began and the fact that so many Ohioans contributed to the, um, the beginnings of early aviation and actually aviation for the future as well. What do you hope visitors take away from this monument after visiting? Oh, a much expanded knowledge, a much expanded experience of what happened not far from here and flew across the country over the last century. You know, this is only going to happen if you get involved. Please share this video with your social network friends. And if you'd like to be a part of our effort, just go to this website for more information as we erect a monument for the Wright Brothers' triumph of flight.